parents, I'm Stephanie Palachek and I am teaching your son or daughter either honors chemistry, college prep chemistry, or AP physics. I'm really excited about this year. I know that it's not the way that we've ever learned before, but I am really hopeful that we can glean a lot from this year and just learn a lot about how we learn and how we do science. And in the end, hopefully the kids are just really excited about the science that they see around them. So I've been at Santana High School for starting, this is starting my 12th year. I have been teaching for starting on my 19th year and I am just really looking forward to this year. So I wanted to show you what we are doing in this class. The platform that I'm going to be using is Schoology. So if you look here, you can see my different courses that I teach and I'm going to actually go ahead and show you the chemistry. And from there, you should be able to see what your son or daughter has access to on their Schoology account. So if we click on the course, you'll see that there are introductory and reference materials. And in here, you would find the information for the syllabus and the safety contract and any other important documents that students should have access to. So one of those is a letter that I had sent out at the beginning of the quarter. Those of you who have me for second quarter, so you have me for even periods, I will be sending out a new letter to you shortly. If you go ahead and go to the main menu again for the course, you'll be able to see how I've laid out all of the course material. So I have college prep, chemistry unit one, college prep unit two, unit three, and unit four. So if I were to go to unit three, for example, you would be able to see that I have each unit separated into what week number it is. So I have quarter one, week five, quarter one, week six. And if you click on that folder, you'll be able to see what your students will see. So from here, you'll be able to access the start here work is right here. And in that point, students will be able to access their calendar for the week, any weekly announcements that I have for students. And typically I'll start with some kind of video for students. So right here, I have a list of different announcements. For example, um, with late work, when late work might be due and what the penalty is for turning work in late. So any work that's turned in late is going to be subject to up to a 50% point reduction. And I won't take any late work beyond two weeks past the deadline. And that deadline usually ends on a Friday. So if you take a look at this, you'll also see that students have access to their late work form. If students turn any work in late, they need to fill out this form for each individual assignment they turn in late and then how students can access me for tutorials. So this Calendly link will allow the students to go to an online site and with that, they'll be able to schedule an appointment with me. So if you click here on the week six schedule, you'll see how I lay out the schedule. So typically I like to do like a warm up, a body, and then a wrap up for the day just to kind of keep student learning and understanding going. And one other thing that I do is I lay out my course so that the work that's assigned Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday is due by Thursday morning at 10 a.m. And then the work that's assigned Thursday and Friday, typically it would be due on Friday evening, but I've given students an extension and I allow students to turn in that work up to Sunday night at 11.59 p.m. So if you take a look at this calendar right here, you'll see that I've given students the heading of what we're going to be covering in this week, and then the main question that we're going to be looking at. So for this week, students were asked, what causes fireworks to shine different colors? And so we started with a warm up and engage warm up that kind of asked them questions with regards to that. Then I'll give them the objectives, the things that I would like for them to learn by the end of the week. Then if you move on, you'll see, so on Monday, I've given them different assignments and I've told them how many points each is going to be worth. And I've given them an estimated time. Now that's an average estimated time for students. I usually take how much time the assignment takes me and then I either double or triple that amount of time for students to do. And then as they scroll down, Tuesday, they would start this explain and elaborate and that's what their assignment would be for the day. You'll also notice that every day is not an even two hours. 
some days I have an hour, 10 hour and a half. Other days it might take two to two and a half hours, but it all evens out to about 10 hours a week. That might be a little bit different for an AP class just because we are preparing for the AP test. And if you are an AP parent, please know that I will send you a separate video as we get closer to quarter two or right at the beginning of quarter two. And that will have an updated syllabus for AP physics students and just my expectations and things that are specific to them. So hopefully this information was helpful. If you have any questions, please make sure that you reach out. My email address is on many of the documents that I've sent home through different emails, and I hope those email communications have been helpful for you. But if you don't have my email right now, my email address is s for Stephanie Palachek, P-A-L-E-C-H-E-K at guhsd.net. I look forward to hearing from you and I look forward to continuing to work with your students. Thank you.